22.3. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today we're going to work on a tag, an ATC, and two postcards. <laughs> and as you can see, this was a uh, pre-made background. I had cut up so a little piece of pieces of for use in something else and these were the leftovers so that's what we're going to use pre-made background that I cut to size after I yeah so anyway this is a stamp die set and I'm going to um the plan was to try to emboss this heat emboss it so that it looked really cool but it didn't turn out so well well it turned out okay it just wasn't did not meet my expectations okay even though i did it twice you're going to see me do it twice maybe you're going to see me do it twice i did the embossing part twice and neither one met my expectations so we just kind of set that one aside that ended up being the last postcard that i did because um yeah after all that i went to overthinking it and you know that just never works you need to gather your stuff that you're going to use you're saying this is what I'm going to use. You put your stuff together. Don't give it too much thought. Mm -hmm. Because when you overthink it, it just it just drags on, and you just look at it, and you're like, no, 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 no. So anyway, I'm moving on to uh, rubber stamping these uh, butterfly moth things. Uh, there is a complete list of ingredients below in the description box of this video and uh, yeah <sighs> rounded in the corners oh I like this rounder you do kind of got to be careful lining up those edges because if you get your little dot or your little punch it has three different settings if you get it off just a little bit it leaves a wonky edge and we don't like that so here's another set of uh, stamps I'm, I'm going through and using some that I have not used of late, often, ever. You didn't hear that last part, though. No, not really. So, anywho, I uh, decided to cut out the Umbrella Man, and I cut out the birds on a wire. So, yeah. I spared y'all the uh, total cutting outage of... And this is a little die cut that I had already had die cut. I had already had it cut it. And it turns out that this stamp fit perfectly. Okay? It was like they were made for each other and they are so not related. But it worked. Really cool. There's a list of ingredients below. I know I said it before and I'm liable, liable to say it again. So, as y'all saw, I stamped uh, over the die on my little piece of card there, and uh, then I trimmed it out, and I'm going to round these little corners, because mm -hmm. it makes me happy, and I like it. See, that little edge just kind of goofed up just a little bit, so yeah. Anyway, I wish it, that punch had built-in stops, but it doesn't. Oh, did I put that in the ingredients? I sure hope I did. If not, I'll have to I'll have to try to remember to put that in there. It is a Fisker's corner punch, corner rounder puncher thingy. Yeah. I liked it on the sideways one like that. Because that's how I liked it, it. And these are some little arrows, uh, die cut arrows. And um, they're, one's like a book page and one's like a leftover bit of a... A jelly uh, print and one is a piece of packaging but they worked it did together so I'm, I'm fiddling around and I'm getting them the way I like them so now I'm going to try to put them together just a little bit just to hold them in whatever trifo tricircle thing I had going on there and there, I got them all glued on. Now I'm going to uh, stamp out a little sentiment. That's the only stamp I used out of that whole little set thing, which is in the ingredients below. <laughs> in case you didn't get that information previously. So I'm cutting them out. Now I'm just going to rubber stamp out a word. 
sew. S-E-W, like you're sewing up some clothes. Dress form, dress form stamp, and, you know, measurements, and, yeah. Anyway, I originally thought I would save these for a uh, card lottery, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Just saying. One never knows what one is going to do with stuff. Just because one prints out backs that say card lottery doesn't mean that's what they're going to be used for. I got a pen and I can scratch them other words out. I decided I want a little shiny shiny on here, so here comes some little gems. And I actually meant to use the darker color gem stone, rhinestone, faux gemstone things. And for whatever reason, I uh, grabbed the lighter color. <laughs> it looks fine. I say it looks fine. Okay, now we're going on to the umbrella man with the birds on a wire. And um, as you can see, I'm outlining him with a Sharpie. I do recommend when you are outlining um, or going around whatever outside of whatever, cutouts, die cuts, whole pieces, that you have your uh, marking item even if it's paint and you your finger, you know, got paint on it or a brush or something. You want that on the back side so that if you goof, you goof on the back side and not the front side, okay? Okay. So there he's glued at and I'm sticking him down. I think I, I might show you how I'm going to add like, oh, we're going to glue the birds on a wire. We're going to glue those on too. And now we're now we're gonna stamp a cinnamon. Ignore that! Oh crap! Because that, <laughs> oh, that was for something else. <laughs> it didn't get used. It was for something else that didn't get used. But I still liked it. Liked it at the color. So I stamped out what? Never mind. Raindrops. Yeah. So, and this was another die cut I had hanging around. And I thought, yeah, it's got birds on it. Let's put the little birds flying around in the rain. Because, you know, put a bird on it. There's the shadow. I added a little bit of uh, shadow with um, probably an ink tense black pencil, watercolor pencil. And uh, this little trick. Uh, was shown to me by Zandra. If you uh, have a die cut and you want to put, it, you know, layer it up, and then quite fit because it's not because they're both the exact same size. Just cut a little, cut them apart, and and it'll work. See how it just stretches them right out. See there, ta-da! Zandra's link will be in the description box alone, uh, below, along with a list of ingredients. In case you didn't get that message the first 5,000 times I gave it to you. <laughs> so, yeah, I do um, computer generate the backs to these things because I number them and junk. And I'm putting on this one, I'm putting on some very pale blue. And as you're looking at them here, well, as I'm looking at them, I'm assuming you're going to see them the same way. They look kind of clear, but they're very, very pale blue. You know, like water. Yep. So, uh, oh, can you hear the birds? I got the door open because it's a beautimous day. Total, total beautimous day. And yes, I will have some close-ups towards the end of the video. And this is the one that was originally going to get the Eiffel Tower that just I just wasn't happy from the get-go, which meant it just wasn't meant to be. Anyway, I went, uh, found this uh, card. It's uh, Tim Holtz, Lost Relatives, Occasions, da-da-da-da-da, ingredients. And um, I liked it her. I didn't like her background, so I cut her out and decided I'm going to stick her on the postcard. Here's a postcard. And while well, after I cut her out, I liked it, uh, you know, this, the the back of the card that she came on. After I cut her out, I'm like, well, those are neat little pieces. So I'm going to glue those on too. And this is a sticker sentiment. And I put it on the black card stock and now I'm trimming it out. Just gave it a little punch. And we're going to stick those things on there. 
I mean, they're already cut up. It's not like I'm going to use that background. So, but the you know the back part of the card there, it's so neat. Well, I thought it was so neat, and it just looked it good to me. Okay, and we know as artists, that's what counts. That it looks good to you. Don't let it, anybody take your bossy pants away. Okay, okay. So there I got those little edges glued on. And now she's going to get glued on. Oh, and I had another, uh, an, I had a straight arrow, die cut arrow over there to the side. And I thought, oh, it'd be so funny if she's holding it. So I glued that in her hand. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's part of the photograph, well, the picture of the card or whatever. Because it turned out it was, you know, in grayscale. And it just worked it good. And I like that sideways. So I'm going to put that sideways. Does she get gems? Oh, I think I do put some shiny gems on her, too. Little clear diamonds. She got some diamonds going on. Mm, you going to see me, maybe? Maybe. Maybe you're going to see me glue them on in the corner down there. There they go. Just right across the bottom there. Because she walks on diamonds. The bottoms of her shoe. No. <laughs> It'd be kind of bumpy walking on top. Well, they're rocks. It'd be like walking on rocks, wouldn't it? Exactly like walking on ro rocks. Carp. Carp. Anyway, she makes me happy. We're getting there. Anyway, like I said, this was going to be, yeah. Uh, that Eiffel Tower thing just was not going to work for me. So here we go with the tag. Which was the beginning, but anyway, now it's the last. And my little moths and butterflies, and I found a little piece of um, lacy trim like trim stuff. See that white thing right there? So I'm gluing that on. I'm smashing it down because I want it to, you know, be stuck. And I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, everyone, in just a second. Hang on, wait for it. Heat gun! everyone and uh, you know just to kind of make sure it stays in place while I go to glue on these other things and now that little stampy thing is going to get glued on gluted gluted on mm -hmm. wiping my finger off yeah on my apron hey, apron on when wiping it on my shirt I'm sticking that down pretty good. I like it. It's making me happy. Oh, I stamped. Did y'all see me emboss those? Well, maybe you did. I don't know. It's been too long ago. You know, it's all, It's what? A 14 and a half minute video. That's just a little button. I'm sticking on. A little button. It was laying on the desk. And I thought, hey, I like that. And this is a little butterfly. I did have to hunt out this little butterfly bead. Because it's a bead. I did have to hunt it out. I thought, yeah. It, that, or it's a moth bead. I don't know. what. Whatever, whatever. Hey. Some fly at night, some fly in the day. And uh, I put on a little hole reinforcement. To, oh, we're not even going to show you the rest. So there we go. There's our finished tag. It's got some little eye, eyelash yarn stuff. I just love that stuff. So anyway... There's the ATC. Here's a postcard. And here's the other postcards. See, we got a tag, an ATC, a postcard, and a postcard. That makes two postcards. And um, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this, yeah, listening and all that other kind of junk. And uh, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And happy art, y'all.